2K Sports pregame show. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my partners, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Our featured matchup tonight in Chicago, where the Bulls will be going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, this is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. And what a beginning to the season. We've had some amazing plays, some huge games. Shaq, for the teams that have gotten out to a fast start, how do they go about maintaining? Oh, man. Say what? What? You say something? Nah, man, I'm just looking at my preseason stats, man. They're horrible. I mean, you're horrible, Rook. What site is that you want? NBA.com. Oh, yo. Hey, hey, come here, man. You got to look at the in-house stuff. That's just the box scores. Teams got high-speed cameras all around the arenas and the practice gym. Hey, tell this dude. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Aaron. I this is the stats kid. I, the Aaron. stats kid. That's cool, too. So how my rookie doing, man? Hey, man. Nice to meet you. I'm DJ. He's actually doing really well. Um, you're per possession stats. Uh, there's like 96 possessions of an average game. If you extrapolate those numbers based DJ, on the possession. DJ, don't you listen to this, man. He's full of bird seeds. You just keep your head in the game, okay? Got it, coach. Stats and possessions. <laughs> If you extrapolate those numbers based on the amount of possessions you play versus the raw totals. The, the raw total? What about the cooked totals? I don't understand. If you extrapolate, your per possession stats project you as a starter. See? Woo! That's my rook, boy. Hey, man, I like the way you talking, man. Keep talking to me like that, bro. Of course. If you need anything else, let me know. All I'll, right, I'll, bro. Numbers related, of course. I like you, man. I like that dude. Hey, he's a commodity around here, man, so use him wisely. I'm going to use him every day. artist Linda Lynn. Welcome everyone to this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. 
Looking at San Antonio, they took the win in their last game against the Timberwolves. And they put it all together in that game. It added up to a phenomenal win. And, and I know the defense wasn't great, but yet and still, their ability to stay composed was impressive. Well, it led to a big scoring effort taking advantage of every weakness. So any possession the defense wasn't aggressive on, they were on the offensive end. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, Kawhi Leonard has been a great defender from day one, but he has developed into an elite offensive player as well. And Greg Popovich says he basically tells me what he wants to do now. He knows he has a green light. I think that's the difference. He's more confident, more aggressive, more hungry to score than in the past. Kevin? And they need him to be that way, D.A., thank you, especially after Tim Duncan's retirement and Manu and T.P. getting older. Uh, this is Kawhi's team now, for sure. Early in the regular season here, some teams off and running, but, Brent, if you've had a, a talented roster that's not coming together yet, what steps do you take to try to, to, to get that compass pointed in the right direction? Well, I, I guess it depends on the players that you're, you're looking at, Kevin. It's if you've nice made game, a huh? move in the offseason with a veteran guy who you thought was going to do A, B, and C. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. San Antonio also making some changes. Rudy Gaze checked in for Gasol. Ginobili comes in for Green. And it's Mills in for Parker. On the floor for San Antonio, Mills and Manu at the guard. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Rudy Gay, and it's Aldridge in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And when Wells spots one of his guys wide open, doesn't hesitate at all, just gets it over before the D can react. That puts them in the lead. Mills has got his first three points of the game. And they can't allow him too many open looks like that. that that's just inviting trouble. Portis, the pass to DJ. And DJ throws it down. Well, one of the new faces on the roster this season is DJ. And for those of you who haven't followed his story, made the team after getting a training camp invitation. But he's fought his way, Greg, into some minutes now. And a goal one step even prior to the training camp invite. He got that invite by impressing in a street ball competition. Now, I know a lot of fans are hoping he can make it in the NBA just due to his long shot story. Ginobili wide open he shoots and again it's the Spurs from deep well years of experience come into play not only here but overseas Ginobili with perfect rhythm on the catch and shoot Wells' shot is good Wells has got his first points in this one and defensively you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job in challenging it. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Just didn't like the energy level in that one, and that offensive execution also was lacking. Now they, they made a few shots, Reg, but just wildly inconsistent. Here's Wells. Hands it from downtown. Wells has got five now. And he's shooting the ball very well, in addition to creating for both himself and his teammates out there on a roll. Ginobili kicks to Mills. That falls nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. There's the screen. Here's Wells. He's off on that one. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Here's Gay, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. I love how Gay keeps the ball high, not, not allowing the defense to block it. His length really comes in handy. And that one is good from DJ. He's got six. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Now well, it's been a high-scoring competitive.
And the Gasol brothers, Pau, talked about the joy of sharing the NBA stage with his brother, Mark. It's like a dream come true. It's hard to really picture it. I'm just proud to be Mark's brother, and I'm proud of what he's become as a basketball player and as a, as a man. Well, their story is a bit like a fairy tale, the way two of them, uh, sons of medical professionals in Spain, have become two of the best centers in the NBA at this age. Especially when you remember what a raw talent and how big and bulky Mark Gasol was when he was drafted by the Lakers. I mean, they traded him to Memphis for his brother. And that does all seem like fiction, doesn't it? Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Spurs? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. Love the pace they're playing with. Anytime you can get your offense going without the defense setting up, you've got a huge advantage. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Spurs, we've got Mills. Rudy Gay is out there with Anderson. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Murray in at the two-guard spot. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kawhi Leonard has become a go-to scorer, but his focus still starts at the defensive end. He said, my mindset is the same every game. Whoever I'm playing against, I go in and try to stop their best scorer and then try to get myself going on the offensive end. Kevin? And, David, that's what you get with Kawhi. Mr. Consistency, one of the best two-way players in the game. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. There's the dish to Aldridge. He doesn't hit that one. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. On the wing, Levine. Pass to DJ. The Bulls get it back in a new 24. Levine dishes to DJ. Again, Chicago. Not the game this team was looking for last time they took to the court. Ended up on the losing side, Greg, but there were some positives to take away. Yeah, and the big one to me was that DJ showed that he has a lot to contribute. It was limited action, but when he was on the floor, he was a definite positive for the team. And this is an area where Gay is especially dangerous. A terrific mid-range score in the Spurs last season. How about setting the all-time record for consecutive winning seasons with 20? This is a group that's won 50 or more games in every one of those seasons except the strike-shortened one in 99. Now here's Murray, guarded by Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Murray. He gets it in there. And Greg, for the Spurs, they're so competitive. It's, it's inevitable. They just win year after year. Yeah, but that big three of Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili, the all-time winningest trio in the history of our league, had a lot to do with it. And as that era comes to an end, they're doing a terrific job of just picking up new star talent without skipping a beat. Going with an almost entirely new group here. Felicio's check in for DJ. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Bulls lead by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. the start of the third quarter welcoming you back in a closely contested first half Chicago making some changes DJ is checked in for Lopez Felicio comes in for Miritich and Justin Holliday is subbed in for Dwayne Wade then for the Spurs Kyle Anderson he's checked in for Aldridge Ginobili comes in for Green and it's Mills in for Parker they've got DJ Payne out there with Quincy Pondexter and it's Felicio in at the four so that's the five in the game for Chicago 
And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Bulls. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys work just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Dwayne Wade. It felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Murray, the pass to Ginobili. Kicks to Anderson. Gasol a screen. Anderson inside, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Kyle Anderson getting physical with the defense that time. That helps him draw the contact. And he makes the first. Laverne, he's checked in for San Antonio. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's the Bulls with the ball. 29 seconds left in the game. And DJ gets it to go on the assist from Payne. Running up the score, showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka -ching. <laughs> You're right. Stolen by Holiday. There's the pass to Payne. To the paint. And DJ throws it down. And you can tell they're ready to start celebrating a, a well-deserved victory here tonight. Yeah, you can see the fans. They've already started celebrating themselves. A gutty performance. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game... Too soon. Too soon, man. It's not your time yet. <sighs> you starting to embarrass me. What are you talking about? to stop. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, yo, what's up? You bring your counsel? Uh, I got nah. you. I got you. Nice. Nice. All right. Hey, I brought my controller this time, too. Ain't gonna be no funny business. Hey, you know what they say. Those who can do and those who can't blame the controller. I don't get out Tell of here. Tell them. <laughs> hey, yo, Freshy, what you gonna get up to now? Rook out the house. You know I'm gonna have my nah. team fresh lettuce come through and practice now, hold like on, three hold straight on, days. Now. You better not wreck my place. <laughs> Talking about all this fresh lettuce stuff. I don't think she does. Nah, fresh man. lettuce in the building. All right, you know what? Let's go. Hey, I'm going to see you on the plane, man. All right, bro. 
All right, fresh. Peace, Sam. Hey, we need to talk. You can't just be coming up in my place with all these fresh leather people. I ain't. That's right, Mom. Two bouquets of roses. Real roses, just for you. I knew you'd be. Brian, talk to me. Oh, oh, hey. So, yeah, DJ's mom? here. I gotta Say go. Hi. Yes. He says hi. Yeah, she she thinks you're adorable. <laughs> Look at this. What's all this? I did my agent thing. I got you a local endorsement with Weaver's Traffic School. Oh, my. I know. It's thrilling. Look at these things. Brian, you've been talking to me about shoe deals. Shoe deals. What is this? Well, Weaver's something or another. I don't even Weaver's know what they do. It is Weaver's Traffic School, and what? they are a local business who loves doing things with the teammates. Okay, so hey, this, is, on, like, this, is, is this like face? a legit, this is a real endorsement? Yes, it's true? a real endorsement. Come on, come on. This is how you work your way up. You got to do this to get the shoe deal. The shoe deals are coming. In the meantime, Weavers wants to put you on a billboard. A bill? Okay, now you have me at billboard. All right, then I look at what you're saying. All right, you look, get to pick the one you like. Let's see what we got here. That's the one. Great. That's the one I would have picked. I will let them know, and then I'll let you know as soon as the shoe deals start walking well, in. I sure hope so, Bri. I'll be waiting. Don't, you won't wait long. Cause, cause I'm fast. I know what I'm doing. Here. DJ. What's up, man? How you doing? What's good, man? It's nice to meet Yo, you. Yo, DJ. What's can up, I get a pic? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do a picture, no problem. Yeah, yeah, all good. All good. All right, cool, man. Can you do my voicemail? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got your voicemail. Name's right. Xander. Your name's Xander? Yeah, yeah. I got you. So cool. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, DJ. Xander can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message after the tone. Peace. Sorry, one more photo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you, man. No problem, no problem. Awesome. Thanks, right, DJ. I appreciate the support, guys. All right? Later, DJ. I'll see you. 